I'm here today to dissolve all mystery to answer the question that more that I get asked more often than any other question. How the world cries out. Do you do your hair? I've been doing my hair like this every day for like about six years. So I've done it sort of a variety of different ways over that time, but um I've kind of like I've got I've gotten so used to doing it now that it's just it's become easier and easier. It wasn't easy to start with and there was a lot of um, perfecting techniques and things. It sort of helps that to start with I've already got pretty thick hair. Um, if you if you don't, um, you might want to try using any kind of like you know volumizing mousse or shampoos and conditioners and other sort of products to maybe get a bit more oomph. Um, I will show you what it is I do to my hair every day. I'm also going to show you how to get it down again afterwards. But before I do anything, I can't really see the camera and I can't really see the mirror either so for this video I'm going to wear my glasses. This is basically what my hair looks like when it's out. It's very thick and just very floofy and I realized many years ago that there was not really much I could do with it so I just decided to roll with it and just make it bigger. My tools. For this you will need a brush, a fine tooth comb, bobby pins, a mirror for seeing the back of your head, and possibly some of these. And for products, um, an anti-frizz serum, hair gel, hair wax, and hair spray, most importantly. You may also find a useful a hair dryer. I've been trying to battle frizzy hair forever, which is why I think anti-frizz serum is the best thing ever. This is uh, Garnier's Sleek and Shine anti-frizz serum. I rate it. It's great. It's really nice to find a product that actually does what it says on the label. So first, a couple of pumps of that, rub it around and rub that everywhere. And no more frizz. Off. The next part's a bit strange. Oh, actually, yes. Um, a hair tie. This part admittedly looks pretty funny. I separate my bangs at the front. And to keep them separate, I tie them up under my chin with a hair tie. Yes, it looks very strange. I don't care. Next step is um, hair gel. I like to use a wet look hair gel. That's just my preference. I guess you don't have to. And be careful not to use too much hair gel because it will make your hair heavy and it won't it won't stand up properly. So rub that in. Particularly pay attention to the roots. Next up, hair wax. This is one from Taft. As with every product that you want to use, mm, try getting the strongest hold that you can. So, blob of that, about yay. Rub it round in your hands. Okay. Any building needs a good foundation. So now we're going to start with the actual back combing. And what you want to do is when you take a section of hair, start at the roots and brush towards your head and go outwards towards the tips. Like that, but a bit more, with, with more feeling and start, start underneath.
starting to take shape kind of. Next you want to use the fine tooth comb and do the same sort of thing, focus on the roots and sort of, you can see, back comb very tightly, like kind of pack it against your scalp as much as possible, um, well, within reason. So like Sorry if it's kind of hard to see. Repeat that all over. And use the mirror to check how the shape's going. Oh dear. Okay, good, now I can probably take this out. Next is the most important ingredient of all. Hairspray! A really big can. I go through a lot of hairspray. And once again, get the strongest hold you can find. Five out of five. And, you know, preferably find one that smells nice. Then you want in some bobby pins so that it will stay in the shape that you want it to or just around the front I don't put any like at the back of my head or anything you know, pull it up in sections and put the pins there Yeah, so just kind of play with it and comb it and, you know, muck around with it until it kind of looks how you want it to. Uh, I just had to run off to go hairspray a lot in a better ventilated place. Um, you know, be sensible. A lot of hairspray. You want a lot of hairspray. How much can I emphasize this? Now, usually I will straighten the bangs at the front. But I've decided to stop doing that for now. So I'm putting a bit more that wonderful anti-frizz serum. You can use argan oil as well. I think that's kind of like the secret ingredient in the, the anti-frizzness. Hmm. So I think that's I think that's okay. I often put um, a bit a bit more of the wet look hair gel in to create a bit more of a, a tendrily kind of thing. I don't really feel like I need that at the moment, so I'm not going to do it. Now, um, just as important as knowing how to put your hair up is knowing how to take it down again. So you want to start by brushing it out while it's dry. Um, and the trick to getting back combing out is to kind of do the opposite. Uh, I said to start when you're back combing to start at the roots and move out towards the tips. You want to start brushing your hair out normal way. Um, you want to start at the tips and go towards the roots and do that all over. And you know that is that is the way. And if you do this a lot, you will become extremely good at untangling knots. Also, this is my new thing. This is your friend. This is uh, Garnier's Silky Secret Leave-In Hair Detangler. It's, it's really good. I like it very much. Um, after that, shampoo and condition, as usual. Um, I'm just using this Garnier's Pure Volume Shampoo. Um, also, you want a lot of conditioner. Conditioner is good. Conditioner is important. This is a very large bottle. This is just a, a Garnier conditioner. Can you tell I like Garnier? Well, if you do do this, do let me know how you get on. I'd be interested to find out. Okay, well, hope this has been useful. Bye!